Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader here from Mr. Top Step with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay. Um, la you know, we talked yesterday and we talked last week about 1415 being a critical level. Well, it really proved itself last night. This is a chart, it's a five-minute chart of last night's E-mini Globex trade. And what you'll see here, right, um, right around 8 or 8.30, we come right in to 14.15, tag it right in this area, and it afforded you just an absolute dream entry. We traded it on, the, uh, on my premium service, and we basically just put it on uh, and put an even stop on after it got positive, and then we took it off this morning at, at 23 halves. So we, did, uh, we did about eight handles there uh, on the trade uh, uh, soup to nuts. So, you know, that 1415 area is absolutely key. And it looks like at this point, it's getting itself established as support. Let's back out, 15 minute chart, 1415. They tried it, but they couldn't do it yesterday in, 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 in the pre-market. Yesterday during, during the regular session, no, uh, 15 test, didn't make it, then tested in the Globex. So it looks like the, the bulls are winning the battle. 1415. Let's look at a daily chart. Okay, here's your daily chart of the E mini. And we continue to see this run up after the 1340 quarter low, right here. Congressional leadership out on the lawn. We're going to do the right thing. Buy them. And we've been buying the rumor ever since, with the exception of, of a very slight hiccup. Now, we have traded as high as 1424.75 this morning. So we did what I talked about yesterday and what I talked about last night to my folks, which is that we needed to take out 1424 within the next day in order to be able to proceed up to 1430 to 1435. If the bulls are going to make a move up to that target I've been talking about, 1430 to 1435, they need to do it now. And it looks like with the Bollinger Bands kind of expanding out in this area, if we're going to get a punch in this move, a punch that looks like this kind of a move, we're looking at 1440 to 1445. Now, my target's going to remain the same. I am I am not convinced that we are going to get an upper Bollinger Band punch simply because of this action. We punched it here on the 68s. Couldn't do it, and couldn't do it. Couldn't do it again. So until it proves me wrong, my 30 to 35 uh, price target is is going to stay intact. Does that mean when the bell, you know, when, when as soon as, you know, when 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 the bell or when we print 30 that I'm going to hit the short button? No. No, no. You got to wait. You got to wait to see what the ticks look like on an intraday basis. You got to wait and see what the Bollinger bands look like. You've got to see what the general mood is like because there's news out there. The Fed is tomorrow. There's a lot going on. So don't just close your eyes and short if we hit 1430 today because Ben Bernanke may have different plans for you tomorrow and you have got to take that into account at some point today and tomorrow we're going to get put up on a shelf for the Fed okay that shelf is probably going to be somewhere between 1424 and 1430 unless the bears really come in at the open and try to knock things back down uh, towards that 1415 area but now 1415 being established as support um, if you are long if you have some longer term uh, long positions on, maybe from down below here, maybe from this dip, just understand that if we break 1415, you have to start thinking that your position is no longer secure. I would just put it that way. Okay? Everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader from Mr. Top Step. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.